Let's see. You still see them, don't you? No, I had a glimpse now. Shall I go a little bit forward? I can see the thing. Not Lola. I'm just going to go past the front of them here. Yeah? I'm just going to go past the front of you. Do, ex do excuse me. Thank you so much. Good morning. We'll just stop here and have a look. Any luck there, Vian? How are you doing? You got a view there. Can you see them? Backwards. Uh, I've got them there. Yeah, got them. Can you see? There, you can hear them calling. You can hear them calling. Look. <laughs> That's precisely that noise that I think gives them their incredible appeal. Thank you to all of you for confirming that that is a Styx lioness coming this way. This is wonderful. <laughs> How are you? I do. <laughs> it has, yes, yes. Goodness gracious me. Somebody on the other vehicle, everyone from university I was with, haven't seen her for 20 years. That was a vehicle going past. I think they missed the lines. Oh well, sorry for them. There are two lionesses behind us now. But let's just stick on those cubs there. This is just brilliant stuff. Isn't that amazing? They're coming back this way. I'll now get out my camera so that I may take some rank average blurred photographs. She's calling the other two behind us who are just kind of grooming. Now they're coming this way. Here come the cubs. Oh, they've turned round. Don't go away. Here comes the lioness, Vimpy. She's also lactating. Oh, this is fantastic. Gone up onto the top of the termite mound there. And the same lioness we were sitting watching is still lying there doing nothing. But you could see that at least two of the f these females are obviously lactating. And I thought when I saw the four cubs that they're from two li different generations, or certainly two different litters. Coming down the termite mound. can hear them calling. And then you can hear the mother calling as well. Ooh, ooh. Just brilliant. I haven't seen lion cubs for what? Since well, from probably since this time last year. Last had the sticks pride comes frolicking around Treehouse Dam. Oh, coming down the mound again. Can you see the mound, Bim? Mm. Shall I go a little forward? I no longer have a visual on me. Let me stick, sneak forward. I think that might be it, I'm afraid. Yeah. 
let's look at the lioness. She also looks like she's lactating, you know. She's definitely lactating. take a photograph of him. Do you know why? Because it's going to blur it? Well, other than the fact that it'll be blurry, is that uh, Lex Hess is watching us, of <laughs> course, and if Lex Hess doesn't have his camera out, there's obviously not a photograph worth taking. You don't want Lex Hess to see your camera. No, exactly. That's also true. <laughs> James Richard, you want to know if this is enough Lioness action for Viem. Uh, Viem? Was it sufficient action or did you want some kind of mayhem and death to ensue? No, just whip pan. Just whip panning? Yeah. Okay, he likes to whip pan. What that means, everyone, is swing the camera from side to side because the action is so incredible that you don't know where to look. That is, is actually worth would have been worth a picture. There she goes. That's a wood pan to me, everyone. <laughs> Just move back. goes and you can see the scars of a long life there all over the shoulders and all over the skin and that's just from boxing and fighting and living the life of a lion. And that everybody is going to be our, well, our, certainly our first lion sighting for the day, perhaps not our only one, but not a bad one.